If you're a 4.0 player or even a good 3.5 player and you're stuck, then buckle up. Because in this video, I'm gonna share with you five actionable pickleball tips that you can use right now to break out of that slump. In case there's any doubt as to who I am and what my, my credentials are, first of all, my name is Tony Roig. I'm not just a senior professional pickleball player, I'm also a master teaching professional. And with my partner, CJ Johnson, we've helped thousands of players improve and become the best pickleball players they can become. All right, let's jump right into it. Let's start with tip number one. It's happening to you if you're stuck. More likely than not, you're not giving due respect to the net. This net right here, folks, cannot be beat. And what's interesting is you watch 4.0, and I would even say 4.5, some 5.0, 4.5 and 4.0s want to hit their shots this high over the net. Third shots, dinks, things like that. Really low, really challenging that net. Every time you challenge a net, you're playing a game of sort of a roulette, right? You're playing a, a game of chance with the net, and you're saying, I think I can clear the net by this much. Oftentimes, and maybe you're not noticing this, you're hitting the net too much. That's holding you back. If you watch the pros play, the pros hit higher over the net on most shots compared to the four rows and the four fives. And here's what's important. Two things I'm going to tell you. One, the pro player, no offense to you, is a better player than you are right now. Okay? So if the pro player thought that this was a better shot, the pro player would hit it here as opposed to here because they can do it better than we can do it, right? Second thing I'm gonna tell you is their opponents on the other side of the net. Again, no offense to anybody, but their opponents that they're playing are generally gonna be better players than the players you're facing. So if the best players in the planet, facing the best players in the planet, are hitting their balls this high, why are we as four O's or even four fives thinking well, first of all, I can accomplish this successfully, consistently over time when the pro player can. And secondly, my opponent's not as good as the ones they're playing. So why do I have to hit it this low? Why can't I hit it higher? To hopefully drive home the importance of the net, I had the opportunity to interview Colin Johns, clearly one of the top players in pickleball. One of the things that, that he mentioned was that when he's in trouble, he actually looks for a higher shot over the net. So let's say this is his regular shot. He would go this high when he's in trouble. Why does he do that? He does that because the net is a part of the court he can't compete with, he can't beat. He might be able to beat them regardless of whether his shot goes high and deep and is a, a pop-up or attackable, but what he cannot do is beat the net. So tip number one for you is take the net out of your game. Do not let the net be the one that dictates the outcome of your rallies. If your opponents hit a shot that, that beat you, no problem. Take the net out of the play and you'll see improvement. Tip number two has to do with how you're thinking about the game, how you're approaching your shots. What a lot of players do out there, what we see all the time, is players are doing too much. You're overcooking the shots. So if 350 degrees in the oven is going to do the trick, you're putting it on a high broil for 10 minutes, burning the recipe you're working on. I'll give you an easy example. So an easy example would be a punch. So my, my opponent is back. All I have to do is punch the ball, right? So I get a ball here. I can simply punch it deep, right? That'll do the work. That'll keep them back. What y'all are doing is y'all are taking a ball like this. Instead of punching it back, y'all are going bam and just blowing up that ball. That one went out. Sometimes it goes into the net. So you're over swinging, overdoing. Consider looking at the way you're hitting your shots and the type of shots you're hitting and ask yourself, what's the least necessary to get the job done? Could I do less in order to get to the same result? If you can do less, then you're doing too much. And anytime you add excess into your stroke, whether it's too much swing to get that extra pop on the ball, whether it's just hitting the ball harder than you need to, what you're doing is you're introducing variability. Anytime you introduce variability into your games, you increase the chances that you're gonna make a mistake. You wanna be consistent, do the least amount necessary in your shots, and you'll improve your play. This next tip, tip number three, is something that I see happen all the time at 4.0, even at 4.5, and even at higher level sometimes, but definitely at 4.0 and 3.5, what I'm talking about here is not locking down the non-volley zone advantage, not locking down the advantage that you have when you're on the return side, not making it up to this line at the time of the four shot. Why does that happen? Usually it happens because you're hitting hard, low returns of serve. So we think that we wanna hit hard and low, right? It's better to hit just a hard shot. It's gonna make it harder for our opponents. But what we forget about is the concept of time. Really important concept. Uh, that you need to understand if you want to improve in pickleball is the concept of time for yourself and your opponents. So what you're doing is if you're hitting a hard, 
return of serve, low hard return of serve. If you're playing a player that looks like you, say you're playing against me and I can drive the ball as a tennis player, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive that ball right back at you. And what'll happen is I will catch you in this zone here, in the middle of the transition zone on the return side. And that's a problem for you. If I regularly or consistently catch you there, it's gonna be very difficult for you to continue to advance because I'm just gonna to get too many points catching you in this zone here. So if you wanna keep on progressing in your game, you have to make sure that you're up at the non-volley zone line at the time of the four shot. There are several other concepts that apply to locking down the non-volley zone. The one I wanna focus on here is making sure that you're not hitting your four shots in this area here and that you're up at the non-volley zone line at the time of the four shot. Do that, make it harder for them to score points and you'll improve your play. Tip number four is an error that I also see all the time. Just like tip number three, it's an error that is committed at the 4-0, 4-5, and sometimes even higher levels. What I'm talking about here is inviting your opponents forward. So you're on the return side, obviously your opponent's on the serve side. What you're doing too often is you're inviting them to move forward and not the, the corollary, right? The inverse is keeping them back. What you wanna do when you're playing pickleball is if I'm the serve team and you're the return team, you want to keep me back here. You want to keep me behind this line or as far back as you can. And what a lot of y'all are doing is you're hitting short balls that allow me to move forward and come up to the non-bias line, which puts me and my partner up here. You don't want us up here. You want us back there. Make us earn every inch of this transition zone. Every inch of these 15 feet, we should have to earn. So if we're standing, say I'm standing here, right? I've made it to here on the third shot or when you're hitting your fourth, don't hit me the ball out in front of me like here that I can then come forward and hit an easier fifth and maybe make it all the way to the MBZ line. Instead, consider hitting the ball here, right? That's a much harder shot for me to handle than a ball in front of me that I can hit a fifth shot. So try and avoid bringing the serve side forward as much as you can because inviting them forward is costing you points for sure and inhibiting your advancement in the game. This last pickleball tip I wanna share with you, tip number five, has to do with the serve side. And this is holding you back from advancing. The only way you can score points in pickleball is when you're playing on the serve side. You need to make sure you're taking advantage of every opportunity you have when you and your partner are serving over here. Specifically what y'all are doing is you're missing too many third shots. And it relates to tip number one, which has to do with playing with the net, but this is a very specific situation in which you're doing it. What happens is three fives, four O's, even four fives want to hit super laser third shots. They want to just skim it over that net. You know, they want their third shot to look like this. They want theirs to look, you know, nice and low. And how do the pros hit their third shots? Pros hit their third shots up and down, right? Their shots go up and down, right? It's not as sexy as the laser shot, it doesn't look as pretty, right? <laughs> because it's not as, I don't know, aggressive or as shapely or something. But the pros know they're not gonna mess around with that net, right? Four O's, four fives, love messing around with the net. And as I said earlier, with the tip on, the, uh, on, on respecting the net, the players that the pros are playing, no offense, are better than the players you're playing. So their, their opponents are better than your opponents. If they can clear that net high, like I just showed you, as opposed to trying to laser it over, why can't you? Take the net out of playing your third shots. You'll be much more productive when you're on the serve side. More productive means more points. More points, generally speaking, means more success on the pickleball court. If you're tired of being stuck at 4 0 3 5, or wherever else you are in the game, these five tips will help you reduce errors and also maximize how you play. In other words, bring your game more into alignment with optimal pickleball strategy. Our recommendation is that you add one tip at a time. If you add one of these tips at a time, you'll see definite improvement in how you're playing pickleball and in your results. Good luck out there.